hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a good week so far this week. Um, today we're going to paint a, another shad pattern, but this one's a little bit different. And it's an easy shad pattern, but it catches fish, so we're going to paint that today. And we have an, an S-crank, the 1.5 S-crank in front of us. And I've already went over him with Createx OPEC White. And so we'll get the painting. And our second color is going to be Wicked Pearlized White. And we're going to spray this all, all over the whole bait. But I found out that this shad pattern... I fish a lake, which I'm going to go fish tomorrow. Um, I fish a lake that this darker, darker, shinier color works best. Um, one of the reasons, one of the reasons I went to paint and baits is because for my area, it's hard to find baits at the store that fish will actually hit. And I used to find some patterns from Strike King on when they were producing a lot of their red eyed shad patterns and their crank baits and stuff that would work. And then I used to get a Norman's, um, what they called the Smoke and Joe pattern. And that pattern got to where you couldn't find it anymore except for at Bass Pro Shops. So, anyway, and that's kind of one of the reasons I got into painting my own is because I couldn't find the baits that worked in my area. So, I decided one day that... I would just start painting my own baits and I had no experience at this I'm not I don't have that much very much artistic ability I just started painting baits and just watched a lot of YouTube videos and like Jen Kervoski Jekyll baits and I'd watch uh, Michael Ornstein lure me in I'd watch um, Zach of Baker Builds. Um, I mean, I watched Milliken whenever he was painting baits. I watched his videos, you know, and I, I learned from a whole lot. And back when um, Debo was painting baits too, I watched him and Water Warrior. I watched all them guys and kind of picked up something from each one of them. And I just started painting and then I would learn from the mistakes that I made and by watching them I kind of learned techniques and then I just kind of developed after I done it long enough I kind of developed some of my own techniques on my own and kind of went my direction my direction is is that I want to paint baits that will catch fish that is my main objective, is to paint baits that will catch fish. So, and I have a lot of patterns that will catch fish. So, but anyway, that was, let me put it out here. That was the wicked um, pearlized white. So now, our second color is going to be our Createx pearlized silver and then we're going to take this and we're just going to go on the sides with this silver and leave that bottom the pearl white and we'll even do it over the top and do the nose and this is just a really simple pattern. It's only three colors. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, just leave that belly, that pearl white. All right. Just like that, so. Anyway, I'm gonna clean out my airbrush and I'll be right back. All right, then our last color is gonna be this. Pearl black, create text, pearlized pearl black. And it is 53, 15 so then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right down his spine with this so I'm gonna duck him down just a tad so I can tilt him but we're just gonna go right down the center of his back and just let the overspray carry over Then we're going to do the nose. Then we're going to do right around the eyes. Then we'll just do a little bit more over the back. Try to see if I got it even. Okay. Got it there. Just like that. I just need to go just a little bit right through there. And I think that's going to get it pretty even. right there and um yeah i have to give a shout out to jekyll baits and lure me in and all them they're very great artists i'm not even close to near as good as any of them i mean i have some good patterns that i paint and stuff but they are tremendous at painting baits and but anyway there's the shad pattern that I was talking about. And this works really good in dirty water. Because he just has a lot of kicking off a lot of that shine and that flash. And it gives them something to key in on in that dirty water. Especially with that pearlized black on his back. They will hone in on that pretty quick. But anyway, what I'll do, and I'll probably video it, um, clear coating this one, and I'm going to do another bait. I'll probably do several baits today, so I will actually do a video on clear coating these baits, and I will show you clear coating them with the DevCon 2 ton, and with my, um, my, um, true coat that I have, and just two great epoxies, and 
That true coat's just unbelievable. It is some of the toughest stuff I have ever seen. And I'll have to do a demonstration one of these days on how tough it was. I have a 12 year old, 11 year old son. He dared me one time on a swim bait with that lurk, lurk coat. I did a bait in it, let it dry for 24 hours. He dared me to hit it with a hammer and I hit it with a hammer and it didn't even put a dent in that bait. But anyway, we'll do that one of these days too. I'll show you all that. and That way you can see how tough it really is. But anyway, um, we'll see you whenever we get ready to clear coat this guy. Well, all right, everyone, we're going to clear coat this shad that I painted, <clears throat> and we're going to put his eyes in real quick, and I use this, sorry about that, Loctite Pro Gel glue. It works really, really well. It's only too good sometimes. Sometimes you can't, you don't have but just a few seconds to get your eye adjusted, so... And all it takes is just a, a little drop like that. Then we're going to dump these, put these red eyes on him. Just like that. So, oh, there. Got it popped in there. And we'll put the other eye in. Get another little dab of glue. Grab one of these other eyes. See if we can get it to snap in. These eyes are probably actually too big for this bait. I should have went with those smaller ones, but yeah, I don't. I have to switch eyes. Don't think those big eyes are gonna work, so we'll grab the smaller eyes and stick in it. Sometimes that's trial and error on that. So let me see if I can get these smaller eyes. And these may be too small. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to put yellow eyes in him. I want him to have red eyes. So we'll put these red eyes in him. So we'll do another dab of super glue. Just like that. We'll grab this and make sure the pupil, the point's facing. Ooh. Then I dropped that one. Okay. There. And we'll just stick that in there. We'll get it adjusted real quick. Just like that. Then we'll do this other side. Couldn't tell if any got on there or not. Yep, there we go. We'll grab another one. I usually use a toothpick, but so make sure we get this one right. in there get it adjusted scoot it back just a smidge we'll 
It's about the same. So we'll leave that. We'll let that sit there and dry for a minute. And I'll put these eyes up. Put them back in my baggie. Get them out of the way. And then we're going to clear coat him with Devcon 2 ton. Because I'm going to take him fishing with me tomorrow. So anyway, that Devcon 2 ton is... It, it's I get these bigger bottles. There's the resin and then... There's the hardener, and what I do is I just use these little syringes I get at our local Jibos, and then I use one of these little little cups here to mix it in. And what I do is I'll just take and grab about, oh, we'll probably do two cc's. Sometimes one's not enough. I think my DevCon's a little cold from the air conditioner. Pull out two CC. All right. There's two CCs of the hardener. And we squirt it in this little container here. Move everything out of the way so y'all can see. But just squirt it in there. And then we'll take this and we'll pull two C's of this resin out. And give it a minute to kind of float down. I should have put it in some and this if it gets too thick or something you can always just put it in a warm water and it'll it'll make it a little thinner pretty quick but I have found out that if you do that sometimes it seems like you don't have near the 30 minute work time so Seems like it wants to dry a little bit quicker when it warms up. There we go. Make sure we put the caps back on that. And then there's the resin. Then I just use these old horsehair brushes. I get these off of Amazon and for like a deal of a hundred and forty four is like sixteen bucks for a hundred and forty four of these brushes. And they're just good cheap throwaway brushes. So I just take and mix this DevCon real good for a minute. Just make sure that it's mixed up real good and then you won't have any problems with it. This stuff, I had one bait, little shad pattern before I lost it. I had that bait, fished it for two years straight and the rocks and everything else. And he was coated with this DevCon 2 ton. And that dude didn't have any cracks or no paint was chipping off of him. No epoxy was chipping off of him. He was in pretty good shape. He had a few scratches, but all in all, he still looked pretty good for a two-year-old bait until I hung him in that tree. <laughs> that's just part of trying to catch them old big old large mouth whenever they're early spring is you gotta throw your bait sometimes in places that you may not get your bait back so but anyway then we're just gonna put an even coat over him with this i'm gonna try to keep him in in the camera while i do this but we'll just go over him and i just try to I don't really try to get it even or anything when I'm first putting it on. I just like to 
get it on and then we'll even it out after we get it all after we get it all over him we'll just try to sorry about that try to make sure we get it in, in the eyes real good and Every once in a while, I'll pull him out of the camera view. It's because I'm trying to get him in the light so I can see, and then I have to turn him. But we'll get this on him real quick, and then, and these, sometimes you have to watch them because that hair wants to come out, and you don't want that hair on your baits. So... Now we'll just take and just run this over him. I'll just grab a little more for this nose area. Kind of, kind of look a little dry. But anyway, we'll just do this until he looks smooth. And you try to do nice, even even brushes and you already see the shine that that devcon gives him it's already shining pretty good yeah looks pretty even too i don't see any bare spots on him so All right, well, there's the, the easy shad pattern, and I, I mean, for dirty water, this pattern works real well. I think it's that black back, but then I think that the shiny sides really, really kind of reflect out there in that old darker water, especially if the sun's shining. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like button. I really appreciate y'all watching and thank you for all the ones that have subscribed i really appreciate it but anyway i'll be putting out more videos and i'll keep coming up with more content well a lot of these patterns i paint anyway but if i run out of pattern if i run out of my patterns i'll figure out some new ones to paint but anyway thank y'all appreciate it